Good morning and welcome back. In just two weeks, thousands of people from all over will come to our region for the total solar eclipse to some of our smallest communities in Vermont and northern New York. NBC5's Anna Goober spoke to the Vermont Agency of Transportation on their plans. She joins us live from Burlington now with more on what we should expect, Anna. Well, Lauren, we're here by the Burlington waterfront, which from the views behind me, I'm guessing is going to be a pretty busy spot for people heading our way to witness the eclipse. The Vermont Agency of Transportation tells me they're expecting anywhere between 60 and 200,000 people heading to the state, and that's why they're planning ahead and encouraging everyone at home to do the same. The agency's number one piece of advice, to plan ahead and if possible, get here a few days before the eclipse. They also suggest hitting the road a few days after April 8th instead of leaving immediately because they're expecting the most traffic on that day. But if you have to drive on April 8th, prepare for high volume traffic. Fill up on gas, charge your electric vehicles, and gather everything you need before you hit the road. Increased traffic, that, that should be expected. Uh, there will be congestion in both the state road networks and we're expecting it in the municipalities. Many municipalities have events planned um, during the weekend of the eclipse and the day of the eclipse. And um, we're, so we should expect that there will be um, additional traffic participating in those events and you know around the, the municipal road network. The agency is also advising anyone who will already be in Vermont during the eclipse to limit travel and if possible, reschedule or at the very least plan to leave early for any appointments leading up to on or even a few days after April 8th. The Vermont Agency of Transportation says that towns and cities around Vermont will consistently be updating navigation apps like Waze and Google Maps, but you can also find more information on newengland511.org. Live in Burlington, Anna Goober, NBC5 News.